garage door would go all the way through. Yeah. Cancel, cancel that. There's a good chance it's gonna snow tonight. Like a hundred percent. Come off, fine. If anything, we should have. There was a sheet or two that we missed sticking it on. So you notice the difference when you didn't use it. Yeah, big difference. It'll pop right off. Hit it, Ralph. Give it the gusto. So diesel fuel and bar oil, which is just chain oil, just hey, let's take the tip off of that thing, and that we probably got a rock or dirt or something in there. If we just twist that, twist the tip off. So here we are back, putting another foundation wall together. We've got this one and one more to get done before the snow starts to fly uh, the snow that you're seeing in the background is not real snow when it starts dumping six or eight inches overnight then that's real snow this will come in and stay a couple of days it'll melt off and we'll be able to get this wall poured and um, shouldn't be a big issue it is making things tough as we're trying to put this together and we're in a hurry uh, I'd prefer to be working without the snow, but here it is. Why are they? Why are we spreading them out as we go up? Just because they're 16 by 16? No. What are they? They're 18 by 18 columns, right? Yeah. Gotcha. Need help? That was very good. You know, I I have found that cuts are better when you use a tape measure. Usually. Usually.
not not your first rodeo. No. Nope. <laughs> That's a few times. Just a few. <laughs> Dirty nasty. you want to come out. I think that box is going to be awesome. The problem we've had with the car, with the with the buckets is they just don't hold up. They don't hold yeah. the buckets won't hold all those all those wedges. So, hey, nice work. Well, we need something.